Hey, what's happening guys? Mike here and welcome back to another episode of Australian Thread. Yes, welcome back indeed, particularly if you're new to this channel. If we have not met, as I said, my name is Mike and what I like to do is talk about different hair products, I like to give hair tutorials and talk a little bit about style here and there. But today I'm going to be giving you guys another hair product review. Um, previously on my channel, what I've done is reviewed salon products and salon products are pretty much products that have been manufactured in the lab by chemists. But today I want to bring you guys a nice homebrew product. Now you may be thinking, what is homebrewed? Well, homebrew is when guys, you know, start off, you know, brewing products in their garage and then moves to like a micro scale operation. Uh, these are products that have been handcrafted and the batches can vary from batch to batch. If you're still a bit confused, don't worry. Think of it as the craft beer of hair products. So for this review, we're going to be reviewing the Matt Pace by O'Downs. Now O'Downs was started by Clayton O'Downs and he started out as a hobby and then quickly moved to a full-time business venture. On the website, they say that they dedicated to both quality and responsibility and that they provide products without compromise. Now it's pretty bold claims, but let's see if that holds true with this product. Let's get on to the review. So this matte paste scoops out pretty easily. Um, it's kind of in the consistency between a firmer than a cream, but not as firm as a wax. Kind of the sweet spot in between. Now I've seen that other YouTubers, a lot of them have been using this as a post style, and I'm thinking, wait, hold on, you guys are missing out on half the fun here because this product can not only be used as a post styler, but also as a pre-styler, which is actually how I generally use it and what works best for me. So when I apply it onto damp hair, uh, it goes in really nice and easily. There's only one qualm I have with the product, and at the top layer, there's kind of a bit of crust, and when you kind of, you know, working in the odd little bits that you just have to take a bit more time and work in better. So after a good blow dryer, what I love about this product is that it plumps up my fine hair, making it thicker and fuller. Similar to that of Morris Martin's treatment stunning balm, um, it also provides a dry matte finish as it says on the jar. And if you are a guy who has fine hair and you struggle to get volume in your fine hair, then this is a great product for you because it's so lightweight, it creates the volume effortlessly. You can expect a solid all day hold with this product and if you use a little bit more as a post styler, then you can get better control throughout the day. Now, so previously I haven't spoken that much about restylability in my products, but I thought I'd want to introduce that into my reviews. And this product, what I find is quite present in the hair. So what I mean by that is that if you run your hands through, you do definitely kind of have a bit of, it meets a bit of opposition, shall I say. Um, it's quite firm in your, in your hair, but I guess that's how it provides the volume, the, the thickness and fullness, as well as a good hold. I find that I can rinse this product out with just water and that I, allows me to use a different product the following day. Now the scent of this product, they say that it's called cedar citrus. I'm not too sure what cedar means, but I find the scent kind of polarizing. So there's some nice citrusy notes there, but there's also this other scent which I don't quite like and I feel like it kind of clashes rather than complements. But then again, scents aren't a deal breaker for me, but that's what you can expand. It's not offensive, but when you put your nose quite close to it, you can definitely smell that other scent, which I'm not a fan of. The matte paste comes in a four ounce amber jar. I think they rebranded this year. I mean, the packaging is nothing, you know, special. It actually gets getting a little bit tatty and bent on the on the edges. Look, I am nitpicking. Uh, the packaging is fine. It's just nothing special. So, with all that being said, time for my verdict. Now, the matte paste has been my go-to product. Um, it's easy to use, and I've come to know what I can expect from it. I'm going to tread carefully when I say this, but this product is very similar to Morris Motley's Treatment Styling Balm. You know, it also provides, you know, uh, thicker, fuller, plumper hair, and it also provides good volume and, you know, also a matte finish. So they're very similar in that regard. But if you say, you know, you wanted to get Morris Motley and you find it just too expensive, you know, that is 29 US dollars as opposed to this, which is only $18. So it's a good, more affordable alternative. Perhaps also if you have been using Morris uh, Motley's styling balm like I have, then this is a good follow-up product afterwards if you want to get similar results. As I said earlier, I recommend this to guys who have fine hair, who struggle with volume and struggle with getting hold. This also works for guys with thicker hair, but if you do have fine hair, then I seriously recommend that you check this guy, uh, product out. It's such a great formulation by Clayton and it's a product that I definitely know I'll finish the job. Right, that brings us to the end of our review. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about this particular product. 
or if you have any other products that you want me to review. Thanks so much for watching guys, until next time, bye for now. Thank you.